Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive of energy at this time. Let's hop into it. Let's collect the energy of your person. Let's see if we can figure out some things that they want to tell you, but they just don't. Okay. Let's see. What is it hard for this person to speak in? To you, right? It's something I feel that is hard for them to say to you. Oh, it's hard to sh to show, but I do care about you so much, right? It's hard to show, but I do care about you so much, right? So it's like this person don't really express to you how they truly feel, right? This card speaks of care. So I'm not going to say that this person is madly in love with you, but they do got a lot of respect for you. They do care about your well-being, right? They don't just discard you like you're nothing, right? So this person, it's hard for them to express how they feel about you, right? When you hold my hands, that warmth keeps, keeps my insecurities away. Right. So you give this person some sort of security within themselves. Right. When they with you, they don't feel insecure. They feel natural. They feel like they can be themselves. Right. And that's a special feeling that's hard to explain. Right. So let's get one more. for what this person was hard for this person to tell you our minds intertwine without saying it out loud. So this person feel like Pisces, hell, you finish my sentences or you complete them, right? You know what I'm thinking It's as if you can read my mind, but it's hard for me to tell you how, how, or show you how I care about you because I care about you so much. When you hold my hand, that warmth keeps my insecurities away. So you give me like this blanket of securities. And in and, and my mind, our minds intertwine without saying it. It's like I can look at you and I know what you feel, right? I know when you're happy. I know when you're hurting. This is how in sync I am with you. I can look at you and tell if something's off, right? You're my world. You're my rock. It's just hard for me to show it to you. So you did this is this is the energy of your person, Pisces. This is what they what is hard for them to come out and just actually say. Like, you know, I I, I care about you a lot. You you like been a big security blanket for me, right? I feel nothing, no insecurities at all when I'm with you. You complete me. You know what I'm thinking. You finish my sentences. So it's like you're an amazing person to the to, to them, Pisces. So let's see, why is it so hard for, for them to show you that they do care about you? And it's the Eight of Swords, right? It's their perception of things. You know, how they feel like if I, if I show you this, would that make me look weak or seem weak, right? So it's something in their mind. This person overthinks a lot. Right. Instead of just doing, they got to sit there and analyze it and break it down. And then they get so caught up in their head. It's like they don't do nothing. And it makes them and it makes it seem like they're kind of cold, you know, or not caring. So why else is it so hard for this person to. um Say how they feel to you and it's the two of Pentacles in reverse. Right. It's like this person doesn't trust themselves, right? Because they do have insecurities, right? So you give them some form of stability, but yet that it's like without you, it's still there, right? So it's like, it's hard to talk to you about what they really feel because you excite them so much, right? And it's hard for them to make decisions when it, when it's like, it's like an immature energy almost, you know, like we could talk about everything under the sun, but we can't talk about what we really feel towards each other. It gives me that immature, you know, energy. It's like I could talk to you about the birds. I could talk to you about uh, wars. I could talk to you about uh, cars. I could talk to you about things I know how to do. But it's just hard for me to come into balance with talking about how I feel, right? Because of the thoughts that flow through my mind. 
So let's see why else is it hard for this person to communicate their feelings here. And it's the Queen of Cups. It's the Queen of Cups. And with this Queen of Cups, I see so much value here. Look at it. It's so much value in this illustration. It's like everything around this Queen of Cups is very latinum. <laughs> oh, oh, latinum. It's a uh it's like gold. Right? So everything around this Queen of Cups is very solid. Right? Very nurturing, very understanding. Right? Hmm. So it's, it's, this person may have an issue, like a, a mommy issue, right? I, I see stability within this queen, though. This person has had a lot of tough love, right? And they probably were taught not to talk about what they feel. They were probably taught to bottle it up in even though this is a nurturing spirit, right? Even though the Queen of Cups is very nurturing, but there's a lot of gold around her, a lot of stability, which puts me in the energy of, of the pentacles, right? I love you. I'm going to take care of you, but you're going to be held accountable for your responsibilities. You're going to be held accountable or or that you got to be strong energy, right? This 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 nurturer looks like a teacher. This person probably come from a single parent home where the mother had to be, you know, both that feminine and masculine energy to this person. And I think somewhere in the midst of that upbringing, uh it was kind of hard for this person to, to be expressive emotionally because they were taught not to be. They were taught to be strong. That was embedded in them. That's the message that was sent to them from their mother, right? If this was a single mother raising this person, you have to be strong, right? You have to be strong. They taught them how to be nurturing. They taught them how to be understanding and loving, but they, they also taught them not to be that expressive with their emotions, especially if they're a woman raising a man, right? There had to be some type of boundary, some type of stability. And I think it was this person was trained not to express those emotions or not to be vulnerable or stop that crying. You know how it is coming up in some families where the boys aren't allowed to cry. They're not allowed to show their emotions. They're not allowed to be vulnerable. And I think that's that's what this person problem is. They get all up in their head because of how they was raised. Right. So it's hard for me to speak on how I feel, but I do feel I am loving. I am caring. It's just hard for me to bring it into balance because Pisces dealing with you, you more nurturing, you more caring. You want to know, how do you feel about me? What, what makes you like me? You know, what attracted you to me? All these dumbass questions. And this person just gets choked up because they were taught not to express like that. They can show you, but as far as explaining it, they just can't think of the right things to say or even know how to put it into words if that makes sense for those of you who watching, right? So when you hold my hand, that warmth keeps keeps my insecurities away, right? So it's like, I know that I care about you more than I'm leading on. You give me strength to become more of who I am, right? And I feel it in your touch. I feel it in my mind. Nobody ever completed, completed me like you have. Right. No one has ever stood there and been patient with me and, and, and really worked with me. So I feel security here. I feel like you somebody I can trust. With my feelings. OK, so let's see what, 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 what about you brings this takes this person's insecurities away. How solid you are. Right. The ace of pentacles. How solid you are. Look at that Ace of Pentacles coming up out of the water. It's like they know what you offer in them is real. And that gives them comfort. That gives them comfort. 
pencil. Okay. And then we have the food. Right? It's like you making them see things different. It's like with this food, it's like they it's like, yeah, I'm going forward. But I still got a lot of love for my past. I still got a lot of love for my mom's and, and her values and morals and everything that she instilled in me. But it's like we're going to use this dog as mom, that companion, right? It's like I love you. I will always love you. I will always have something overflowing in my cup for you. But it's like I have to venture off and find my own way. It's like I'm becoming a man and I got to learn how to trust the situation that I'm in because that's what you taught me. You taught me how to love. You taught me how to be strong. And I'm coming into my own. I will always love you, mama. But I got to go my own way. I'm not leaving you behind. I'm just moving on from now. You brought me to where I'm supposed to be, right? This a mama's boy. This a mama's boy, right? Who loves his mama, who respects his mama. And you should love a man who loves and respects his mom, okay? Because that's a great thing, right? But he just feels like it's time for me to, you know, start becoming that man you raised me to be. I'm going to go out here and do the best that I can, right? So I do feel like this person will eventually open up to you and tell you how they feel. They just have to get their thoughts together and bring them into balance, right? They have to separate themselves from their mother's voice or their mother's training and become that person that she trained them to be, right? So it's like... It's a hard pill for this person to swallow. They got to put all this stuff into perspective, right? The world, which means and they becoming a whole person now. They're becoming it. They're stepping into their manhood or into their maturity, right? This is the new beginning for them. This is a new cycle for them. I don't feel like they cutting the cords to their past, but they are letting go of things that will prevent them from having healthy and successful relationships. They realize that mom did what she could. She did her best and she did a good job. But I have to take matters into my own hands now. I have to part ways with every, you know, I have to part ways with some of the ways my mom conditioned me, right? So that's the thing here. Your person is literally not you know, kind of separating from that, being under their mother, right? They're stepping into their manhood. They're becoming a man and they're going to be making decisions on their own, right? Because you make them feel so secure, they trust you. They trust that they can open up to you, but they have to release certain things before this will take place. So I say, if you give it a little time, the answers you were looking for, if you wanted to know if this person loved you or care about you, the answers you're looking for are going to, you know, soon be revealed to you from this per person, word of mouth. It's going to come out of their mouth to your ears. They're going to literally tell you how they feel because right now they feel like you can feel it. Like you, they, it's like with you, they can't hide their feelings. They can't hide who they are because you're up in their head. They feel like you can read my thoughts, right? You know what I'm going to say. And I ain't even said it out loud. You complete me. You finish my sentences. Like how more, how much more chemistry can we have than that? How much sure can I be, right? This is like the uh, icing on the cake. This confirms it for me that you are my person. And I need to step into the real me and go ahead and give you what you need. If you need me to tell you why I'm so attracted to you and how beautiful you are and how much I care about you and why I love you, I want to be the person that can be able to do that instead of being fearful of not being able to express emotions because of how I was raised, right? So it's like your person got to put their thoughts into perspective. So they do feel like great minds think alike. They feel like you complete them. You finish their sentence. They feel like they've known you forever, right? They feel like they've known you their whole life, right? With that six of cups. And that's a sense of comfort here. 
And then we have the Ten of Swords, right? And because they feel like you can read their mind and and uh, you know, finish their sentences, they do. They think that they 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 feel they have to put it in to that way of being, of that conditioning that their mother taught them to not really express or show emotion. They know that becoming a man and getting involved with somebody, that part of them has to die, right? Because it, de it would defeat me otherwise. So I have to release. I have to have a new beginning. That world is a dawn of a new day. I'm a grown person now and I have to put an end to that emotional part right there that my mom taught me, right? So it's like this person stepping into their own. They going to do things their way, right? Never disrespecting their mother, but it's certain things that she just couldn't teach them. And she did what she thought was best or for what a man need to hold back on, right? And this person just realizes that, hey, Mom did what she could. She did her best. And I respect that. But I'm going to go ahead and open up because I want a loving relationship. I want to be there for my family. I want to be there for my kids. I don't want to be, you know, I don't I don't want my woman to be like my mom. Not in a sense of not like my mom, but in the sense that, you know, being a single mom without having a man around. This person feels like they got to be that man. And in order to be that man, they have to learn how to be vulnerable where they was taught to be strong. And it's the star. They ready to pour all into it. They ready to give it what they got because they feel in sync with you. Right. If you could finish my sentences, we are in alignment with each other. We have that chemistry. Right. I'm ready to give this my all. Right. So this is the energy of your person. Right. And then we have the five of wands. Crossing their overall energy. And this is them just, you know, um, Challenging themselves, challenging their mind, challenging their conditioning, challenging their upbringing, right? It's a battle for them. It wasn't easy for them to do this. It's not easy conforming and changing into something when you've been brought up a certain way your whole life. And it doesn't matter if you was taught to be strong or if you were taught to be a ballerina or if you were taught to be a mechanic. And then this is all I know. But now instead of being a mechanic, I have to go be a doctor. That's a big change. So that's all this person is doing. They just battling with this change, overcoming, right? So let's see how long is it going to take this person to really break down and express how they feel about you? When can Pisces be expecting this person to, you know, be vulnerable with them and express their feelings around May. May is gone. Okay. Around May. So this may be a new situation coming about. And this may be the issue. Know that the readings are timeless though, y'all. Right? So around May of next year. Right? You can expect somebody to be totally honest. Or this could be the person that's coming into your life. And this could be the issue that they deal with. But around May, whatever you want to know is going to be revealed. But in the meantime, in between time, Pisces, make sure that you never stop working on yourself. You want to be prepared for what's to come if you're single. You want to be open to receive. You want to be ready, right? You want to be have dealt with your issues, right? If you're in a relationship and this is your person and they good to you and everything and they just don't talk to you about how they feel, but they do show you, you know, give them some time. It's a fight for them. It's a battle, right? Give them some time to really break that generational upbringing. That's all it is. It's just a conditioning, something that they were taught. It doesn't mean they love you or care about you any less. It just means I'm not good with expressing my feelings. So let's get some divine messages for you, Pisces. 
Let's get a divine message for you here before we close out this reading. And we have changes in progress. Okay? So the universe is telling you that there are changes happening within this situation and 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 you and your person are making progress, right? Keep looking ahead. Keep staying positive. If, if that's the only thing, it's going to work out, right? It's going to work out. It takes a minute for the water to get down the fall, right? It takes a minute for all that to happen. It's a whole process, right? So know that you are, you and your person together, y'all making a positive progress moving forward. So maybe around May, it would be the time where this person could really sit down and express to you what it is and why they were the way they were and how hard it was for them to really get that comfortable to tell you what they feel. You know, it's just the roll of the dice here. Okay, so I hope it resonated, Pisces. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Today's chakra is the fifth chakra and it's the throat chakra. And this one is relevant to communication. Okay. I communicate openly and honestly to express my thoughts and feelings clearly. I share my inner knowledge freely with integrity and without fear. My aim is to be fully understood by others. I am open to giving and receiving praise and I will be careful not to talk excessively and make it all about me. I create space in my conversation for others to communicate with me. I inquire about others' thoughts and feelings as listening to their truth can be uplifting. So I'm sure this person is going to come in and tell you um, what they feel. They are going to communicate it. So communication is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.